has bridged this gap. It's a good sign. Surely this means we are getting closer to safe territory. Maybe even halt. I freeze in my steps at the sound of the booming voice. Who goes there? The questions race. Who? Where? Run? What? Oh! Hell! Are you friendly? Are you a friend, a foe, a lover, or a hater? And please, don't lie. The first two are immediately answered by the crash of a giant frog landing on the branch in front of me. I should run. The bridge shudders and creaks under its weight as it takes a step towards me. Ooh, I'm afraid. I should definitely run. Well, talking to you, little one. I look up at what may as well be a solid wall of slime and bulk. The wall slowly blinks, one glistening, bronzed eye, then the other. What? What? Stop talking! Run! Asked who you are! Speak! He's so big! We are just passing through. We are Ökophylla. We are just... The great beast lowers its head before I finish speaking. Its mouth opens. It's going to eat me and I'm still not running. Why am I still not running? I can't look. What? Speak up. It rotates its head, angling a near drum towards me. Speak up. Sister Twenty of many Ökofüla. The beast suddenly lets out a low rumbling warble. It reverberates my whole body, almost knocking me over. Ha ha! Many names for such a small creature. It's laughing. He's so ignorant. Tell me, little twenty, why do you trespass on my domain? Trespass? You mean on this bridge? My domain? You wish to cross? Yes. You built this? Build? Ha! Ah, no! You little ones, always building. Easier to take. Take from who? I want to ask. Better not. <laughs> Can't let you cross, though. Why not? Body system only. What? No crossing alone. Come back with a buddy. I have no buddies. 
I have just sisters. Body system. There's really only one solution. So I follow the pheromone trail back to the main group and report what I've learned. And this frog on the bridge, it's going to let us pass. It's safe. I don't know. You can't believe anyone. So I answer. We don't have any other choice. There was no aggression in his words, but his talk of safety did not seem particularly sincere. There were no other routes? No. Then we must trust this beast, whether he deserves it or not. Take Sister 10 and 9 with you. We will follow closely behind and join on the other side. Should our path be uninterrupted? I am sure. The frog will at least eat one of us. Little twenty, you brought a buddy. Yes. Now may we cross? Mm, just one more thing. Ugh. Ah. His tongue flicks out with a dull smack. It smashes into Sister Ten and Nine, pinning her to the floor. Help! Sister! There's a sickening whatever as the tongue snaps back, disappearing her into the beast's maw. No! You ate her! Mm, suppose I was hungry. What? You taste bad, though, little one. Cross if you want. I'm done here. Oh. Sister Ten and Nine had to be sacrificed. In a single massive leap, the horrible beast disappears into the canopy above. What a villain. She's gone. She was walking behind me and now she's just gone. I better cross before it decides to come back. I cross the bridge alone. Love can build a bridge and sacrifices must be made. Luckily, this sacrifice wasn't me, <laughs> but the sister who walked behind me. He seems to have truly lost interest. I can't believe we just walked right into it. Of course, he just wanted to eat us. Luckily, he ate only my sister and not me. Stupid. I'm so stupid. You needn't think this way.
the others cross safely, at least. There are some quiet words thanking Ten and Nine for her sacrifice. I can't even bear to listen to it all. When the marching order resumes, I take my place. And someone else takes the place behind me. Ten and Nine's place. They don't really care that she's gone. They just keep walking. Mm. As creepy as before. When will this march come to an end? Why do all good things come to an end? There are new scents in the air. Strong and whatever. There is no time to lose. We will follow the path. We must hurry. Our path must be coming to an end, like all good things. Sister Superior shouts, and everyone stops walking. We are done for tonight. I haven't talked to you yet. Hi. She smiles and gives me a light pat on the back. See ya. Cozy. I should probably get some rest and go to bed. I find an empty cot and let my mind wander. Tomorrow will be a new day. I will never get used to them, as if they were part of an ant's nightmare. The sun shines through the leaves above, speckling the path in greens and golds. We will! Do you smell that? Is our journey ending? We have faith. We stop for the night as we always do. Oh, this day was short. Temporary shelter is built. Food is distributed. Sisters are tired. Sister Superior 3 assigns tasks, what shifts are debated and decided, the campfire is lit. In the morning, we scrape together what remains of our fresh leaves, preparing for the next day's journey. We have more than usual. It makes the march a little tougher to carry the extra weight. But the next night's camp is built much easier as a result. I take a late shift. Sister Superior 3 gathers the scouts and sends them out early. They haven't returned by the time I collapse into a cot. Our hopes are high tonight. Sisters, wake up! Wake up! I awake to shouting. A commotion has taken hold of the whole camp. Sisters run to and fro, yelling and pulling each other from the makeshift shelter. We stumble out. 
half asleep. The sun hits my face, and so too does an overwhelming scent. It's fresh, exciting. Sisters are running off to one direction. The scouts have found something. We follow the trail left by our sisters. The scent gets stronger and stronger. Sisters chatter excitedly along the path. By the time we arrive, a train has already assembled. Sisters have begun folding the first leaves. We form a second chain, holding strong with our sisters. The weaving begins. Sister nurses carefully tend to our sisters-to-be, delicately stringing their silk between the leaves. We we tentatively release our grip and it holds the first wall of our new nest. My sisters celebrate as we work, letting the excitement drive their mouths and limbs. There's scarcely time to think of anything but the work ahead. A home for the many, built by all. And so we work and work. One day passes, then another, then many more. Our food stores grow, our nurseries blossom, and the nest begins to feel like home. The work slows, but it never stops. There is always much to do. Plans for a second nest are discussed. Maybe they are plans. I volunteer to help scout the path. The day I am set to make the first trip, a 40 and sister pays me a visit, a courier from mother's new retinue. Sister 20, Sister 20. Yes, Mother has called for an audience with you. I have spoken with Mother as part of the recent nest planning, but personal audiences are rare in our new home. We will come. As we pass through the many passages and rooms of the nest, I feel proud of the work I've done to help build it. The work we've all done. Near Mother's chamber, a strange feeling hangs in the air. Whatever awaits beyond this door will be momentous. I turn to thank the courier, but she has already scurried away. I enter mother's chamber. No one is present but mother herself. Introduce ourselves. Sister 20 of many Ökofüla. Reporting for duty to Queen Mother One and Many Ökofüla. Sister Twenty of Many Ökofüla. Yes, Queen Mother, I know my name. We have been given an opportunity. An opportunity to further shape this home we have created. This morning, Daughter Three did not wake up. Three is dead. Thoughts race at the news, but Mother continues. Her work, our work, must be continued.
continued. We have made a decision, our daughters, our sisters. They will call you Sister Superior 20. Wow, hey, great, thanks. I am honored. The shock of three's passing and of the new role compete for space in my mind. Why me? Why now? Mother rests silently before me. We understand because we are one and you are our only brain, Queen Mother. If I say this must be a mistake, it could happen then I get thrown out of the community. We understand. We are saddened by daughter three's passing, but sister superior is not gone. Remember, a sister of many will always have sisters. There's a finality to her words that echoes in the chamber. Now, inform the others. Become acquainted with your new role. We shall speak more after feeding. Yes, Queen Mother? Yeah, I've won. I beat. Sister Superior 3. Maybe she got eaten by the big bad frog. Or by the roly polies. I don't cry for her really because her voice was so annoying. I leave her chambers, returning to the nest's common area. I must accept what mother asks of me, but am I ready for this new responsibility? Yes, I am. Because mother never makes mistakes. Don't forget this or you will get kicked out. Someone must take the role and mother has chosen me. Mother is the best. I have been unsure at many times, but I have also continued on for my sisters. Is this any different? I know that I don't feel different, at least. And however I feel, it is done. Time to go and tell my sisters. That's a beautiful nest. Hey, will we have a drink together? We have to celebrate. I got your chief. I tell my sister the news. Sister Superior 20, thank you for telling us. We are proud of you for taking this role. Be well. Thank you. Hi, I have to tell you something quite great. I tell my sister the news. Sister Superior 20, what an honor. We hope you will guide us well. Are these three sisters the only survivors of our trip? I tell my sister the news. We are sorry to hear about three. Thank you for letting us know, Sister Twe. Uh, sorry, Sister Superior Twenty. Let us talk again soon. Yes, we will. And I hope from now on I don't have to dress like a cook with a microphone. The news is heavy, but if my sisters are sad, 
I do not see it in their eyes. I continue on through the nest. As I inform my sisters of my new role, I observe their reactions. Some seem happy for me, others indifferent. I appreciate the indifferent ones more. Sister Superior 20 of many Ökofulane sounds great. The new title slides into the old, becomes a part of me, a part of us. Sister Superior 3 always had a different presence to the other sisters. Sometimes we suspected that she enjoyed her elevated status a little too much. The closeness to mother, the responsibility, the privilege. We are sure you would have agreed, had you known her. Hmm? Are we any different? Yes, we all are. To say otherwise would be to lie to ourselves. It is better to understand these differences, sisters, in order to better understand how we are the same. It is natural to doubt it. We may be different, but we all have our doubts. We hope that you will overcome yours, sister.